everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carissa and this is Rissa Explains It All. So before we get into today's video, I just want to say I'm praying for everyone around the world through this weird time, quarantine time, if you've lost your job or anything like that. I feel like this will be over hopefully in the next two months, but let's just pray and continue to pray for all of the families that are being affected right now by the Rona because it's really just out of nowhere and it's not convenient for anyone. So that's first and foremost. Second of all, I wanted to go ahead and um, go over how I paid off $10,000 worth of debt in seven months. I was doing my numbers the other day and I was subtracting what I started with versus what I paid and I was like, oh dang, I did hit the $10,000 mark. So I was like, I gotta make a video about it. Um, so let's go ahead and just get started into what I did and the steps I took. I understand during this time it not may not be the best time to be paying off debt or to look into something like this, but once everything clears over, hopefully the government helps us out. Wishful thinking. Um, you guys can take these steps and you know pay off some of your debt. Anyways, let's get into how I did it. I've said this in most of my videos. Um, the first thing is budgeting. Um, for me, what I do in some of my other videos I've showed you is to write down a list of all of my expenses, all of my sinking funds, um, and anything that I need to pay or needs to be paid off. Um, I do it by date so then I can put it towards whatever paycheck um, that amount would need to come from. So that's my number one thing is budgeting. If you don't have a budget, you're really just gonna be messy with your finances in general because you're gonna be like, oh, I just got paid. I don't need to pay my cell phone bill because I'd rather go out for brunch or something like that. You would kind of just skim over it and be like, oh, I'll just pay it on the next, the next paycheck. But that's not what you wanna do. So budget, make a list, write down all of your expenses, write down everything you owe as far as debts. Um, from smallest to largest or largest to smallest. If you wanna do the debt snowball, you do smallest from largest. If you wanna do the avalanche, you'll do largest from, or largest to smallest. So that's my first tip on how to pay off $10,000. And, or it doesn't have to be $10,000. That's just the amount I paid because I did go super aggressive. Um, so that's the first thing. All right, second thing is find you a side hustle. Um, or something of that nature that can make you extra cash on the side. It doesn't have to be the ones that I've always mentioned, which is Uber Eats, Uber, or any type of ride sharing service. Um, you could go and babysit, make some extra money that way. You could tutor if you're um, good at that kind of thing. There's plenty of websites or um, companies who hire people to tutor for after school kids. Um, you could work at a grocery store for after, uh, after your first job. You could go there for like part-time. There's so many different options um, that you could do um, to make extra income. And that is where it helped me a lot. Uh, so I did, for me what I would do is I went hard, real hard the first like three to four months. So I was putting in almost equivalent, well no, probably like 25 to 35 hours after my full-time job with Uber Eats and Uber. Um, and then I would cut it down if I got burnt out and I would just say, okay, after work, just dedicate yourself an hour or two hours. And I'm telling you, it goes by like that anyways, rather than just going home, doing nothing, and then feeling bad because, you know, you still have all these debts to pay. So find yourself a side hustle, I promise you, especially during right now, I believe a lot of grocery stores or shipping companies are hiring on the spot. So even, I mean, you wanna self isolate at this time, but also um, if you can, you can, if you know you do not have the virus, go out to grocery stores, help with the stocking, whatever. Um, yeah, so side hustles. All right, so the third one is stopping all auto payments. If you have not noticed on my last two months, three months of budgeting videos, you have not seen um, any subscriptions pull, uh, 
lashes or anything like that. So stopping all monthly services. If you get your nails done, stop getting your nails done. If you get your eyelashes done, stop getting your eyelashes done. If you have iTunes um, music, stop letting that reoccur every month. Uh, title, um, any monthly service that you're doing, stop it all and go tunnel vision. Um, that's what I did. I, I would do my own nails. I stopped going to get my eyelashes done. Um, that right there is 50, 60, 70, probably almost just under $100 depending on what nails or lashes I'm doing. Um, so that's an extra $100 every two. No, that would be actually $200 a month extra to put towards debt. Um, if you get your hair done a lot, then stop um, doing that. Just try to cut corners where you can. There's no need to keep paying for certain things or having it pull from your account if you know it's not necessary. Like you can go, I know it's hard, but you can go three months without iTunes. You can listen to Pandora for free or SoundCloud. So just sit down and look at all of your reoccurring expenses, Netflix, Hulu, all of those, and cut which ones out you wanna cut out. You could start slow, you don't have to cut them all out, but you can, um, you know, Start with one or two and just, you'll realize once you are you don't have them, how much you don't need them and how much it's unnecessary. So that is my third thing. Stop all reoccurring monthly payments. If you're not in a contract, if they are not necessary for you to be paying for and they could, that money could go to a better use. Final and last one is tunnel vision. One thing that really helped me is having tunnel vision. So ask my friends, all two of them. I did not go out, in, in general though, to be honest, I'm not really one of those people who's gonna go out. Um, that eliminates Ubers, that eliminates alcohol, that eliminates brunch, that eliminates any type of extracurricular activity that may involve money. So putting your tunnel vision cap on and really just focusing on you. This is for you, this is for nobody else. So really focusing on what you can do to cut corners so you're not out spending money. Because I'm going to tell you, one night of going out can easily cost you $100. That $100 could have went towards an extra debt payment. So, I'm just gonna tell you right now, that's the biggest thing, one of the biggest things besides the budget is keeping your like vision on the prize. Your reward is later. And if you need to, during the time, set up little rewards along the way. So for like, I don't really think I did. But kind of. For me, I like to shop on Amazon. So I'm like, okay, you paid off this. Next paycheck, you can allot yourself X amount of dollars to buy something from Amazon. So you could do it in chunks. You don't have to like just cut out everything completely. Um, but yeah, that is how I paid off $10,000 in seven months. So it, it's obviously not easy. Um, it's very tiresome, but I mean, for moments like this when we're in a pandemic and people are getting cut from their jobs you know i managed to pay off this debt plus have a fully funded emergency fund so it pays off for moments like this because i you know no one knows what's going to happen as far as jobs and money and work and all that so just keep focused on the prize um and that's the advice i can give you so i hope this helps you guys go over your budget and look at what you can do. Um, I totally understand that it's not important right now. The most important thing is, is staying safe and healthy. Um, but once this is all over, come back to this video <laughs> and just remember the steps I told you. Other than that, I do have a paycheck budgeting video going out tomorrow. Um, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. So before we get into today, so be um, uh, all right, guys. If they're not necessary, oh my god. <laughs> What, what one thing?